All right, so let's get to some of the ingredients in this spiritual bath, Conjure Queen. What do you put in your spiritual bath? I don't heard about essential oils and flowers. And I even heard, I think I heard way back in the day, Bobby Hammond said, put like a, a teaspoon of bleach, I think he said. Yeah. So yep. I don't heard a lot, but tell me, what, what, what should people put in, in their spiritual bath? Okay. So let me, you know what? It's so many spiritual baths. It's like thousands of them. But I'm going to give you guys some freebies, right? So let's say um, if you, for the ladies, right? Let's say ladies, you looking for a bull <laughs> or you about to you about to go to your D appointment, right? Or whatever it may be. You, you, you want to be attractive. You about to go out. What you need to do is take a spiritual bath or make some, like boil some catnip right and if you bathe in that ladies listen let me tell you like the fellas are going to be going crazy <clears throat> for you and for the fellas if you want to be super attractive or you want to have you want to exude like this powerful magnetic masculine energy hi john the conqueror root put some of that in your spiritual Say that again. put some of what, what, what hi john. look he's like let me get some of that what's that what? called <laughs> what it's, called, it's called it's called hi john the conqueror root Wow. It looks like a little walnut, but it's powerful, okay? Like, an old southern person <laughs> told me this. Like, just get a little bit of whiskey, let it boil a little bit simmer, add a little bit of that to your spiritual bag. And, fellas, if you add a little bit of allspice to that, listen, okay? The ladies are going to be on you like crazy, mm. crazy. So that's for attraction. Yeah. Now, if you say, you know what, I feel like my energy is really heavy, like, I work with all of these crazy people. I, like every day I go to work. First of all, while it's on my mind, let me tell you this. Um, put a little bit of salt in your shoes when you go out, especially if you know you're about to like um, go into a very hectic place or whatever, maybe a lot of people going shopping, whatever. Um, put a little bit of salt in your shoes because what it does is salt does whatever you tell it to do. If you chant, enchant the salt, put a little bit in your shoes. Tell a soul to protect you. Tell a soul so, you know, wherever you walk, wherever your feet go will lead you protected. You will not walk into any mess. You will not walk into any hex. You will not walk into anything that doesn't serve you. And the salt will do that. It will neutralize anywhere you step, especially if somebody tries to poison you through the feet. Now, this is an old hoodoo thing, right? Like, for somebody to poison you through the feet, they can make, like, um a certain powder or a, a, a potion they mix it up together and if they want to make you sick or um give you bad luck or curse you in any way they can put powder by your door <clears throat> put it somewhere where you'll walk over and you'll track it right back home this is why i always take shoes off when i come in the house too people should mm. track taking shoes off because mm. my grandmother was always saying like you know, I don't know what you stepped in, take your shoes off before you right. come in the house. She was right. the one that told me all 